Hey, welcome to Culture Pop Collectibles, where everything we talk about and sell is pop culture. I'm your host, Anthony Thomas, and today on CP Daily is What's in the Box? What's in the Box? And before you, I got my uh, little Kirby layout here, and the Alex Ross covers, and those will be on the site for sale they will be on uh, eBay uh, uh, site as well as our website for sale but I thought I would display them but those are not what's in the box what's in the box is right here I got one box and I'm gonna showcase today and I, these these books I bought um, when I seen them I said uh, yeah. I haven't read them obviously because they're still in the box but I have opened the box where I wouldn't have to make all that loud noise cutting and everything but um, <clears throat> I think I'm, once I open them and I read them I will have them for sale because they're not books that I would personally collect but I just thought they would be a good you know good uh, series to get um, with that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and all that good jazz, and leave a, a thumbs up, thumbs down on the video. Appreciate that. That helps the algorithm, as they always say. You know, it helps you know YouTube say, "Hey, they like that video, so they're gonna share it." So, without being you know further ado, let's go ahead and break this bad boy open. This comes in a Gemini Miller, you know. And I'm gonna do a video too where I'm showing you how to make these because I look at these and you can make these, you know, if you want to take the time to make them. You know, if you I don't know how much Gemini Millers cost, but I'm pretty sure that they're, they're not that expensive. But I mean, you could, if you got an you know, extra box around, you can make stuff like that. Uh, okay, now what I have here is six issues, or five, five, my bag, five issues, and it's called Secret Empire. These are Marvel comic books, Secret Empire, and the Brave New World. In the first issue, it has some Mariner on the front cover, it has Black Panther, Spider-Man, Marvel Girl. And I'm assuming I'm, I'm not familiar with the uh, one guy looks like Iron Man, and the other guy looked like he could be the Human Torch, but in a different costume. But it's Giant Man, Gwenpool, the Invaders. So, so it's cool looking cover. Look like they're showing them up running on top of the world. And let's take this Kirby. Classic. Let me just zoom in on that first before I take it down. It's just the detail and that issue. That's an Alex Ross cover. So, let me put that to the side. This is number one Secret Empire. Let me zoom back out. I'll zoom that way. You can get a full smell it of that. Yeah. Straighten that up. And number two has Hydra, Hydra Bob, and Patreon. And I'm assuming this guy's called Patreon. The the Vaders in this issue. And this is Secret Empire Brave New World number two. Almost looked like it was going to be the Falcon. I'm not sure, but. And let me just do this here. First, before I show this, let me, let me, let me bring this one closer. That one, put that one to the side, and do another version of that one. I 
African American look like he is. Captain America. Or Patreon. I think it's Patreon. And next we have number three with Daily Bugle, Thousands Missing, Villain Storm, Manhattan, City Left in Shambles, the Daily Bugle, Star Brand, the Invaders. And the, the, the Daily Bugle newspaper has a coffee stain on it. <laughs> Be staying right there, and that's that's actually on the newspaper itself. This is number three, and number four, Misty Knight, Emma Frost, the Invaders, Misty Knight. Number four, Secret Empire. Everybody got some secret, secret wars, secret invasion, secret empire. Everything's a secret. And last we have Blade, Domino, the Invaders. It's a cool cover. Secret Empire, Brave New World, number five. And that is, and that actually got a, that has, a, actually got a, you know, messed up. The book is fine. It's the plastic. The cover is torn. The plastic part is cut. But I can, I'm going to put a new plastic on it anyway. So when I get the new books, I always do that. So I'm going to end up reading these. I might do a comic uh, review on them. Comic book review in the near future. And then put them on the website for sale. Yeah, because these are... I thought the covers were cool. I thought the books were cool. But this is something that I personally would keep for my collection. I would just basically read, read them and be up. So, with that being said, let me just re-show you what I got. See, I will be reading these and let me straighten it up. And do a comic book review on them and then put them on eBay or our website. Both probably put both for sale, sell them as a lot and sell them individually. I like that Missy Knight cover. Show her with that bionic arm. And the blade. So, that being said, I want to thank you for uh, watching uh, Culture Pop Collectibles at CP Daily. And we will talk to you next time. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, bell icon, thumbs up, thumbs down. And we'll see you on CB, uh, CB, CP Daily Locker Room on Friday. All right now.